All right, uh, welcome back. Hope you've grabbed your coffee or tea or anything hot uh, to stay with us this morning for the next two hours. So let's begin our day with a review of the papers. And of course, uh, uh, we've been joined by public affairs analyst Ayodele Adio. Uh, good morning. Good, good to morning. see you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, the Vanguard, it's my first paper this morning. Uh, protests rock APC secretariat in Abuja as Amosun Akari Dolu throw weight uh, behind Buhari. Uh, the APC hasn't been finding it... Uh, uh, very easy lately. Uh, yeah, then I there's mean, that statement from President Buhari allegedly uh, that uh, Oshomali should just clear the mess. <laughs> Whether it's a, the, the uh, you know, um, Congresses you're talking yeah. about or not, you know, the fallout uh, and all un that. Unfortunately, that is coming on the eighth day of the week. <laughs> um, you know, all they simply should have done was to conduct um, a transparent and credible primary election mm. and not have a situation where. Um, Governors wanted particular candidates, the National Working Committee wanted particular candidates, candidates. the separate state, and it all became, um, you know, some sort of impasse across mm. the country. And so it, now you're left with an issue on your hands where you've had a lot of disgruntled, um, uh, you know, party members across the country. And yeah. how you're going to be going into an election in four months from now with a party that is... Um, in fighting. Is it going to be a tough one for Shomale to actually uh, patch tough all one. this? Uh, an extremely tough one. Because okay, he, he, let's he, move on. Uh, very quickly, there's so many issues to look at. We'll try within the time uh, we have. Senate passes electoral bill for the fourth time. Looters list not violation of persons' rights, and that's according to court. N I NHIS. This mm -hmm. is NHIS, not NIHS. The <laughs> Vanguard has called it NIHS. A presidency steps in as reps resolve to probe agency. Buhari Talon Commission Seme Kreke border and alleged diversion of funds. Why EFCC can't prosecute me? That's Oshomoli uh, speaking there. And refuse Lagos orders PSP operators to commence door to door collection. Wow. That's it from the Vanguard. Interesting. On the front page of the nation this morning, uh, you have um, a front page picture featuring a road safety official mm. supervising the evacuation of an accident scene on Lagos Ibado Expressway. And a number of people really nine lost their lives. Died nine died yeah. in Lagos Ibado Expressway accident. Very sad one there. Youth to Abasanjo, Atiku should drop or be or lose. Ex governor, I mean, eminently qualified to be running mate. It's interesting, this development. The last time we heard about an opposition to the choice of Peter Obi, it was from the southeast. But this is coming from youths in the north. Are you surprised? Well, I mean, it's, it's politicking time, so, so you're likely to see all of this I wonder what they have against him. No, I mean, I mean it's, just, it's, it's, it's interest, basically. The people of the southeast, or the people in the southeast mm. who in, in, initially um, you know, found that um, Obi's emergence was because they felt that the Anambra people have always um, gotten the slot. Was that really the notch. core of, the, I mean, of the matter or that they were not uh, consulted? Well, <laughs> 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 some felt they were not carried along, along. Um, in court. Well, was carried <laughs> along means. You know, so, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it's, it's necessary. Um, oh. Peter Obi is a fine gentleman. He, he, yes. he showed the qualities that he possessed when he ran an Ambra state. Uh, and for me, every day of the week, I think it was an excellent pick mm. um, by Atiku Abubakar. It's all right. Mean, Let's move on of, of, of and see how it goes. This group yeah. is saying that they have about six million votes to take away. Um, everybody mm. can brandish <laughs> figures this time around. <laughs> Presidency, nothing to fear over Kano. Our campaign for Buhari, Sonwo Olu says Amber Day. That's in page 10. It sounds like a fine politician. Yeah, I mean... A special breed. Um, is he learning? Uncommon to this climb. <laughs> <laughs> is he a good student? No, no, no. no, no. $8.1 <laughs> billion dollars, empty and six fear deal. Moses Malls, Chelsea exit, and 18 feared killed in Delta. All right, moving on to the punch now. The bold headline here. APC protesters accuse Akere Dolu Bindo, others of leading revolt against Oshomale. Of course, Oshomale has been crying himself hoarse that there is a grand conspiracy to, you know, edge him out right. as chairman of the party. Uh, well, I, I wonder what uh, Oyogun will be <laughs> <laughs> feeling thinking right, right I think now. It's, 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 it's really funny what we find ourselves in this political environment, that the same man who has been championed the cause to remove a Senate president is the one who is facing impeachment <laughs> by his own people. <laughs> you know? there so, you go. I mean, in the broadcast, in, in the statement, um, he spoke with journalists a couple of days ago, and he also admitted that um, a, a few governors 
um, do not like his face. And, mm. But of course, well, he, he, he argues that, yes, he argues that the majority him. are with him. I wish mm. there was So let's see how it plays out. <laughs> <laughs> to decide, really. Okay. Uh, Senator Vaughn DG Bash, APC party chairman, aggrieved APC reps announced plan to defect. Hmm. Uh, some would say, no, nah, no, nah. <laughs> FG to limit number of children per mother. That's at the uh, top uh, uh, column of the punch there. Wow. Interesting. Mm. Haven't well, we I been mean, here before? One child when, policy. Uh, <laughs> uh, former military president, uh, that was um, yeah, Ibrahim I mean, Babangida, well, who came I up mean, with that. One, four children per woman. Mm. It doesn't for even sound quite, quite high because I, I think we have, we have um, a huge population in our hands with basic um, social. Um, infrastructure to meet the growing mouth. Yeah, but the, the burden enough. seems to be put on the woman now to take responsibility for the number of children she has. I think the statement came <laughs> as though the responsibility <laughs> was being placed on the woman, but I think it's a collective responsibility, and it should come out that families be. should be yeah. able. Uh, Gone are the days when men would get angry at their wives. That why did you get pregnant again? As if <laughs> as the pregnancy <laughs> jumped on her. <laughs> Actually, a cousin of mine, his wife just delivered the fourth child. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's in his early 40s. And I was like, why are you still having children? <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, it's just, she's the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All moving right. on very quickly. Buhari's alleged lopsided uh, mm. security appointment splits southern and northern senators. We'll be talking about that later on the show. Uh, Tendai, as young shall grow driver rams into stationary truck. Um, NHIS crisis reps to summon minister and executive Exit. secretary and council chair. Uh, things are not right with Nigeria, says uh, Sultan uh, as out there. All right, moving on. To All right, the Daily Trust is next. Electoral Act Senate approves card reader for 2019 <laughs> elections, pegs presidential campaign spending at five billion naira, and governor. You need to grab a cup of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think those were the interesting highlights for the Electoral Act. Those two things um, caught my fancy, particularly the fact that um, you know card reader was going to be mandatory in the coming elections and the fact that they are putting a cap on the spending of elections around the country I think they put a cap for 150 million for or 200 million for the Senate yeah. and of course 5 billion for the president it's important that we put a cap on these figures and not just put in a cap set up um, a monitoring system that will that's ensure that people do not it. exceed that number mm -hmm. and ensure that also if people they do, who exceed those numbers will yeah. be um, prosecuted by the law. It's exciting, however, that now the card readers are legal because some will say this is the game changer for elections. In oh, Nigeria. yes, it is the game changer. And we hope that it can be improved on in the 2019 general election. To all those stories, interesting front page picture here. Pensioners' files recovered from an old pension office by the Pension Transition Arrangement Directorate in Lagos yesterday. Hmm. And you begin to look at how we treat our senior citizens. Uh, the federal government just um, earmarked some amount of money for... Hmm. Uh, the, uh, what do they call them? The airport, uh, the, the airport, Nigeria um, Airways. Nigeria Airways, yeah. Nigeria Airways and you look at how we treat them. They go under the sun, we're looking rickety, Many and we of still them make them go through rigorous, very rigorous processes mm. to get their money. It's, it's, quite, it's quite sad. I mean, people, young people watch how their, their fathers or grandfathers are, are treated, are treated mm. and, and they lose hope in the country that they're supposed to serve. But I mean, the, 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 the PTDA is doing quite a good job. They're mm. working round the clock to ensure that um, the offset, uh, you know, you know what is being owed um, retirees. Uh, but of course, that's why going forward, we must continue to emphasize on this contributory pension scheme to mm -hmm. ensure that um, employers pay their own part, pay their own fair share um, into the scheme and, and workers isn't also there do that. a better way really of, of you know, disbursing this uh, pensions. No, I, I, that's why I, I think the contributory pension scheme yeah. works a lot better because you and the employer pay mm. your own fair share and you can monitor your monies up until the point of retirement, of retirement. and not exactly. the, the, it's the, right. the one that was done in the time of old. Let's see other stories here. Gawon tells Buhari Atiko others to accept outcome of 2019 polls. Mm. Uh, we're getting close. Shonek on not dead. Ogun government, like I say. IPOP, British authorities brief federal government on Kano travel documents and Kaduna crisis Residents get respite as 22 confirmed dead. Mm -hmm. Senators divided over Southeast Exclusion and Security yeah. Councils and respect Nigeria's laws, federal government tells multinationals. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, from the Daily Sun, mm -hmm. presidential poll, NAS, there's a National Assembly pegs campaign funding at 5 billion naira, rejects manual uh, voter accreditation. 
Defense Council Southeast Exclusion Splits Senators Lawmakers Trade Tackles Over Council Membership uh, Wicked Flags of NAFEST 2018 Says Culture Empowers Humanity you Can't argue with that, can you? Uh, nine die in Lagos Ibadan Expressway Auto Crash Our roads remain uh, I, I mean, if, if you look at the numbers of people yeah. who die on a monthly basis mm -hmm. on our roads, it's, it's quite frightening, it the is. amount of people who lose their lives on a monthly basis. I think, in fact, in a year, it runs into thousands, yes. people who die mm -hmm. needlessly on, on, on highways. Unfortunately, w we continue to see these incidences as it's our time to die hmm. or it's, it's, it's God's will. It's God's will, but we c we're, we're failing to tie it down. That is the responsibility of the people who are supposed to ensure that those roads, mm -hmm. um, you know, are properly constructed, mm -hmm. are causing those It was the former directly. president who yeah. said that more people die on good roads. Than on bad roads, so you, you, you might want to get your statistics right. I mean, as just imagine well. how many lives, yeah. Nigerian lives, will be saved if you, we had um, good rail system, exactly. good roads, you exactly. know, and, and all of that. Many of those trucks on the roads, you, you, you may not even find them. Exactly, it, it's unfortunate. Uh, my relationship with Buhari intact uh, by Amoso there. That's uh, the governor of. Uh, Ogun State. Is, is anybody asking? Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll have to go. We'll leave it there.